The Manchi clan, a group of Japanese ninjas known for their unusual powers, maintained neutrality even as their country was embroiled in civil war. Fearing their strength and their defiance, the nation's chief warlord ordered every man, woman, and child be killed. However, one survived, Yoshimitsu, next in line to succeed the chief and a master swordsman. He single-handedly took on the warlord's army, dealing them a hard blow, but they eventually overwhelmed him, severing his right arm. Despite the countless pursuers sent after Yoshimitsu, he vanished without a trace. That is until one day, an agent for the warlord received word that Yoshimitsu had been sighted. What's up, gamers? Sa tingin ko sa atin dito sa Pinas, mas sumikat ang Yoshimitsu ng Tekken kesa sa Yoshimitsu ng Soul Calibur. Kaya for this day, pag-usapan natin kung sino si Yoshimitsu ng Soul Calibur. Siya ay miyembro ng Manji Clan, isang clan ng mga ninja. During Japan's Warring States period, delikado ang hindi pagpili ng kakampihang estado. Dahil naging impartial ang Manji Clan, at tinanggihan nila ang isang lord that wished to recruit them, this lord burned the Manji clan's village to the ground. Namatay lahat ng clan member, maliban kay Yoshimitsu, ang most skilled warrior mula sa Manji. Nagtrain si Yoshimitsu and he honed his ninja skills, and then he slowly fought back against that lord. Despite being overwhelmed by the numbers of his enemies, during this fight, lumaki palalong desire ng ninja for revenge. Hanggang sa he felt that he need to obtain a weapon, isang sandata na walang katulad in terms of power and bloodlust. In short, hinangad niya ang Soul Edge. Yoshimitsu realized kung gaano kalawak ang mundo after leaving Japan for the first time in search of Soul Edge. The more he embarked on his journey, the more siyang naging confused. Nakita niya ang devastating effects ng cruelty at reign of terror na dinulot ni Nightmare. Hindi maiwasan ng ninja na maalala ang sinapit ng kanyang village. Matutuwa kaya ang pamilya niya sa tinahak niyang Path of Revenge? Deeply confused, nakarating siya sa Austrainsburg. Pero, he was late. Dahil natalo na si Nightmare. Instead, ang inabutan niya doon ay si Sofitia. Sofitia being the hero that she is, tried to talk to Yoshimitsu but nagumpisa nang magdeteriorate ang mental state ng ninja. He was torn on what he must do. Dahil dito at dahil na rin sa desire niya for revenge, samahan pa ng evil that is pervading the Austrainsburg castle, nagtransform ang sword ni Yoshimitsu into a humanoid resembling him. After defeating his sword and bestowing on it his own name and a little help from Sofitia, he was set free. Yoshimitsu decided to give up his desire for revenge at dahil na-inspire siya ni Sofitia, pinili niya ang path of righteousness, saving the weak and helpless from those who abuse their power. This led him to form a band ng chivalrous thieves na nakilala bilang Manjitu. Trivia Time! Ang nickname niya ay The Original Mechanical Ninja. His weapon is called the Manji Sword. Manji Ninjutsu ang tawag sa kanyang fighting style. Asul ang kulay ng balat ni Yoshimitsu at his eyes and nose exude blue flames when he is angered. Despite all this, isa pa rin siyang human. He wears a Hanya mask or a demon mask. Ang backstories ng dalawang Yoshimitsu sa Tekken at Soul series seems to revolve around the death of clanmates at the hands of a single person. Si Yoshimitsu ng Soul series ay ancestor ng Yoshimitsu sa Tekken. Madalas mapagkamalan si Yoshimitsu na isang samurai dahil sa kanyang katana at sa shimono. Marami sa moves ni Yoshimitsu are borrowed from Mitsurugi and vice versa. Ito ang soul charge ni Yoshimitsu. Yeah! 
And this is his critical edge, a ghost thief funeral. Bitterness, let me guide you to hell! Although ancestor ng Yoshimitsu sa Tekken, ang Yoshimitsu sa Soul series, ang Soul Yoshimitsu ay nag-originate sa Tekken Yoshimitsu. Well, sana hindi kayo naguluhan. Pero alam kong agree kayo na both Yoshimitsus are fun to use and meron silang unique at astig na itsura. The cacophony of battle cuts through the deathly silence in an invitation to madness. A stroke of fate, let us duel. Ha! I'll fight you. That's it again for now. Maraming salamat sa panunood. Stay safe, stay at home, and see you on the next video. Paradise! Always! Uh, not good enough! Ninja Sun Bear! Deliver me! Your soul! Uh, KO! Treasure! Let me guide you to hell! Huh? I'll hold up! So, that's how the seal works.